Hello there and welcome back once again to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. Today we are taking a look at one of my all-time favourite hatchbacks. This is the 1998 Peugeot 306 S16. I love a 306, my family's had two of these over the years and one of them was terrible and one of them was excellent. But regardless, I, I love the 306. I think it's an absolutely cracking bit of design. The dashboard in these things is quite cool when it's all angled towards the driver and they're renowned for being quite good handlers. So I'm quite interested to see how well this gets along. Front engine, front wheel drive, 314 horsepower, 1067 kilos of weight. Let's see how it does. It is going to get six laps of the Motorsport Land Tracks so at the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Subaru Impreza WRX STI Wagon version 2 which had a time of a 29.751 last time out. The 306 unlikely to beat that. The 306... Hmm, I don't really know. We haven't had... I, I suppose the Civic, 30 points... What was it? Where, where's the Civic? I'm trying to find it. 30.779. Uh, that'll be the goal of the 306. I think, because we haven't had many sort of mid-tier hatchbacks yet and this and the Civic sort of are. This is significantly heavier than the Civic though so it's got that working against it but it has got a tiny bit more power than the Civic and this is supposedly renowned for its handling while it's EG Civics I don't think were? Uh, I think EKs were better handlers. This is... yeah you can feel... <sighs> It's, they've actually translated this quite well. Apparently the uh, the 306 in real life, because it's got multi-link suspension, uh, it does have a habit of uh, off-throttle oversteer, as most Peugeot hot hatches did, which is what was quite fun about them. And uh, yeah, this seems to have a similar thing where, yeah, the rear end will come out, which is interesting. Alright, we've got some oversteer to deal with on a front-wheel drive car. That's, that's quite comical, uh, to be honest with you. Good fun, though. Uh, whether it's actually going to get a quick lap time because of that, I mean, probably not. I think the biggest issue with this 306 is it is naturally aspirated. It's not turbocharged, which, thanks to the fact it has long gear ratios, there's definitely some cars i.e. the muscle cars and stuff that produce silly amounts of power uh, and have awful sort of long gearboxes normally but because they're going to be producing 600 horsepower I think that's going to benefit them I think in this case with the 306 because it's naturally aspirated having uh, the long gearbox that this does I mean we're barely getting into third gear I think it is going to harm it a little bit unfortunately I say long gearbox, it actually isn't that long of a gearbox compared to most cars IRL, but of course in the context of this series we're going to be driving everything from key cars to supercars. Yeah, it is quite a, a long gearbox. 31.711, is that horrible noise please? No idea what that is. A little bit of understeer as you power into that corner, but it's alright, use first gear to get that round. It feels so direct in first gear. I think it's because it's making peak power and it's dragging the wheels around. It's quite good fun. Oh, bit of an oversteer moment. That's going to kill this lap, unfortunately. Okay, so it's not Honda Civic beating, is it? But, I mean, it's still a pretty valiant effort from a, a front-wheel drive hatchback. I think, anyway. Um, yeah, I think the handling might have let that one down a little bit. It's a lot more of a car you drive for fun as opposed to performance. Um, yeah, alright. A little bit disappointing, I guess, in that situation. Again, I think also the gearbox in this has uh, something to, uh, to play. Just because you're just not in that power band for so long when it's coming down the straights. It does feel quite slow down the straights. For 314 horsepower especially, uh, this should feel absolutely rapid, and it just doesn't. So, a little bit of a shame. That was the best lap with it as well. Um, 
again, maybe 0.2 of a second as usual, but everything gets 0.2 of a second. Um, actual speed trap times aren't particularly great on this. Uh, 31.711 will put it in to 10th place. It does beat out the Nissan Silvia K's Aero, uh, loses it out fractionally to a 300ZX. The Silvia did have more power than this, so that's a bonus for the Peugeot, but yeah, it beats out the Polo as well, so yeah, it's, it's not bad, but ultimately I think there's a few factors that hurt this car. One of them you might be thinking is the fact it didn't have racing modification, however, next time we're going to see a bit of a solution to that, so join me for that. Until then, farewell.